I have a South African passport and a Portuguese passport, but I was born in Mozambique, and so I have particular interest in Mozambique and had for a long time wanted to do work around the history of Mozambique. I was particularly interested in looking at the period that was somewhere between the end of colonialism and the beginning of the independent countries. The starting point for this work was the ethnographic films made by a woman called Margot Diaz and her husband, George Diaz, who filmed with a group of ethnographers in the north of Mozambique in the late 50s and early 60s. I came across her films because I was interested in the film side of the ethnographic study, because ethnographic film in many ways marks the cinema registration of how the Europeans saw Africa. And I thought I would make a work about it. But in fact, I was unable. I saw the films. I realized that I couldn't work with them. I couldn't work with them because they are very classical, ethnographic, paternalistic, voyeuristic films made by white Europeans looking at black people in Africa. I didn't want to use that. So I sort of started doing research, not so much about the films and about Margot Diaz herself. I started doing research around the event of the ethnographic study. And I found quite a lot of interesting things that potentially could lead me back into an artwork. I went back to her films, decided to use her films as the starting point to comment on this whole research. So the work you see here is very much designed to remind you of the Ministry of Colonial Affairs. And as a visitor, you are invited to walk into the Ministry of Colonial Affairs. So you walk into the ministry, you, you walk into the belly of the beast, so to speak. Not from the outside, but you walk into it from underneath it. What I'm trying to do is put together the complexity of what this ethnographic study is and put together the complexity of politics and colonial life at the time. Now, the Portuguese, or in Portugal, have had a lot of difficulty in dealing with this history. They will accept the memory of Jorge Dias. Even today, he's still thought of as a great ethnographer. And I have no doubt that he may have qualities as an ethnographer. I'm not putting that into question. What I'm trying to do is to reveal the fact that the ethnographic studies at the time of colonialism were very complex. And that has been very difficult for Portugal. As a society, they have difficulty in looking at that and criticizing that. That's why the work, for example, is called A Tendency to Forget. Because in many ways, I feel that that's those details of history that really give you the complexity of history when you try and sweep them under the carpet to pretend that they're not there, you're actually losing out on history because you're not getting the complexity of it. What I'm looking for is to kind of contradict the tendency to forget.